Hello everyone, welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger. Today we're doing a live build of this concert ground structure and I've had a lot of requests for it and I'm really glad I didn't go ahead and do it then because ever since we got these party time event items, I've revamped the entire grounds and I'm more than excited to go ahead and do a live build for you. Before I do that, I'm going to give you a very, very quick tour, perhaps a minute and a half of the entire ground so you have an idea of where certain things go and then of course I'm going to completely demolish it and start a new build on a clean plot. So what I have here is I've laid out quite a number of the items we won from the party time event. They are all in place like these smoke machines, they're doing a great job there and these girls are really lit on that stage. Um, I chose to make this build very dark so that everything in it and on it would pop with their color. Um, I also think it's the kind of color that you would see in a real uh, stage setting. Now, don't worry about the items you see on the balcony. A lot of you have asked questions and, and said, how do you place the sound systems on the balcony and the microphones and the piano? Well, don't worry about that. I'm going to show you how to do that in the live build anyway. So, the other question I got was how to put these televisions on without anyone watching them. That's one thing, but to have that done while they're up in the air <laughs> is another. And I will show you how I do that, so don't worry about that too either. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick tour of this part of the build here, where a lot of the sims come out to eat when they're having a break between different sets on stage. Um, and basically this is the view from this angle, from the stage which I think is quite lovely and you can go ahead and have it on a third level as well if you wanted to it doesn't have to be just two levels <laughs> but um, I just chose the two platforms the bottom and this top part in here we have the kitchen situated for these lovely teens and preteens and adults too to come in and help themselves to some fries some burgers and so on and just to have a minute you know um, and then the other thing I wanted to say is that as you can see a lot of the surface of the building is covered in glass and some items don't really go against glass so all you have to do to get that done is glitch it this is the big boss's office he decides who is going to be on stage at any time and I think that's all you need to see at this point you can always go back and have a look I use doors around these booths um, ticket booths and these are the security gates so all you have to do when you do that is glitch those items and drop them in and your sims will have access to them these are the restrooms and um, yeah I think that's all you really need to see and then of course you can go ahead and pop things down the way you want now this is my container <laughs> for the items we need for the concert stage and yes it's also my glitch building <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and set things out this way so we can glitch them all at the same time so if you want to pause the video at this point you can and then we are just going to get started with the base of the stage this is dressing room number one This is dressing room number two, and it could be anything that you want. You could make it a complete space if you wanted to and, you know, created a party uh, venue underneath the stage if you wanted to. But this is the access way to the restrooms of those dressing rooms. That's a living room space, and this is a kitchen area. This middle part here is basically where guests would be loitering around and, and so on. Now this building here is very important. It's useless right now, but it's very important in terms of placing those TVs up at the top. So just build it this way. We are going to go high into the air with five floors. So it does cost um, <laughs> a pretty penny. Um, the last floor costs a million. Um, but of course when you start out with the one here, it's going to cost you nothing because it only Charges you for one structure being elevated that high So now that we've done that elevating all buildings to The heights we are now going to start with a structure for the stage So I'm just creating these two by two rooms here And then we're creating the access way from the building below um, up onto the stage there we go 
And the other thing is you don't need to have uh, a drum booth, um, but it certainly makes for not glitching the drum onto the platform. But I just felt I wanted a drum booth because the platform was a bit empty. So um, yeah, and I'll show you how to glitch that too if you want to. Now this is how I've left this and I'll explain why in a minute. But let's go ahead and place down all the balconies we need. Right there. And there we go. So yes, this is what you want to see when you get to this stage. And now I'm just gonna tidy up a bit with the health spa slate. If you don't have that, you can choose a different option um, because some people didn't get to do the spa event. So there, that's what it should look like for now. <laughs> so we're going to now place some balconies on top of these structures. So on the third floor, you cover the first two in front and the one in the middle for the drums. On the fourth floor, we cover the next set. And on the fifth, we cover the last set. And now we're covering the roof. Now I'm not going to touch that building in front there because it will latch on to that roof and won't let go. <laughs> now we're going to gradually keep reducing the size of this empty build or structure, whatever you call it, and then systematically continue to add a balcony without touching that building so it doesn't connect. So I've taken it down by one and added a balcony across. Down by one and another balcony across. And again. And another balcony across. And now I'm going to completely cover it up. And as you can see, I need the building in front to come forward. Right there. Mm -hmm. And now I can completely cover the top of my stage. We still need this build out front here, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it's going to help us out quite a lot. Now I'm just going to tidy up once again. I really don't like the look of this um, balcony paving that comes as standard. It's really awful and really inspires you to cover it up immediately. <laughs> there we go. And then we're going to choose a balcony railing uh, instead of this horrible wood. Let's see. Black iron is what I used in the original build. You can use any color you want. It could be everything white maybe. You know, you never know what it's going to turn out as if you don't try out something different yourself. So it'd be quite interesting to see what this would look like if I chose different pavings and different exterior and interior walls. <laughs> anyway, I need black tiles on all the floors there. Right back there and in these structures here too. And I'm covering the walls as well in black. Ah, initially it looks like a shadow. <laughs> but don't worry, when you begin to pop things down, it looks fabulous. So. Uh -huh. There we go. There, that's what it should look like. We're almost there. I bet you're wondering now why the video is about 30 minutes long. <laughs> It's when it comes to putting certain things down, it just becomes so complicated. So what I need to do now is place a balcony on the third floor, there. One by three on the fourth as well, there. And then of course, just tidy up as usual with a paving of your choice and a railing of your choice as well. There. I mean, really that structure is done. And I mean, most of you might just end the video and just take it from there. <laughs> anyway, this particular structure here has become the main feature right now. I'm completely filling up with rooms. 
because I need a couple of sims I have on site to get to the top of this um, structure. That's why I have two sims here, so do remember to um, go on and get two sims. Now I've connected a balcony from the rooftop of the stage to the rooftop of this um, temporary structure. And then I'm going to also add another balcony to connect these uh, one by three uh, balconies to this structure here as well. I might have to extend it, but anyway. So there. Now, I need to pop down some staircases. I'm using the cheapest ones, or just go into your inventory and, and drag some out from there. Mm -hmm. And then a couple of doors to lead out onto those platforms. Maybe single ones here. I think I'm going to extend this platform just so that the second sim can accept the action. Okay. And then I'm going to put a door down here so they can get in. <laughs> Ta-da! Now we're ready. I need to start glitching these items now. And I do have a video called Glitch, so go ahead and watch it and you can see different ways of getting items to um, start flashing red so you can place them anywhere you want in the build. This glitching method requires a 1x3 room, two double-sized doors opposite each other and a 1x2 rug of your choice in the middle. And then all you have to do is drag the room apart by one grid and then cancel that action. Click on the red X and you have a glitching door. You grab the other door against the red one and you're ready to glitch away. So you've cut out the patio method that costs some money. So just drag the room down by one grid, maybe three times max, so you don't have too many items in one spot. And now I'm just placing the flashing red doors along the side of the building. Now I'm going to shorten the room by one grid and then cancel that action by clicking on the red X. There. So what we are going to do now is start dragging the items onto one another away from the door and then click on the green round tick in the top right hand corner of your iOS device. Uh, that would be your iPhone. Um, but I think on the iPad, it's the arrow just at the bottom a white arrow at the bottom and it takes you back to your menu so you just repeat the process for everything in the room as you can see here and then take off all the doors and the next process is to bring out the exact similar items and place them on the flashing red um, duplicates if I might say so there just like that Repeat the same thing for all those flashing red and then lift them up and start placing them where you like. As I say, I have a video called Glitch. Do go on and have a look at it um, and it would show you in detail how to carry out these actions. Now I'm just getting rid of everything I don't need and deleting the building because I do need the space <laughs> for the rest of the build. Now I've placed everything where I want and you can place anything you like in the space and I've also placed the televisions up in the space as well now I've called a sim to go on and watch TV I've asked the second one to join in once I do that join in I cancel the action of the first sim and then all I have to do now is obstruct the second sim and that leaves the television on now he's still coming up because he's not yet obstructed so I'm just going to click on this one here. And when he gets up to it, he's just going to give up. There. There. Now I have that television on. Ta-da! I'm going to do the same thing for this one. She's going to go ahead and watch. As soon as it comes on, You then have to ask him to come along and join in 
and then stop her from watching. That leaves it on for him to come along, but then we're going to stop his action by grabbing hold of that staircase or even a door that he's meant to get through. And it's done. Now we're going to do the same for the music. Just do exactly the same thing and get all of them on. Now I'm going to get them to get down from this building um, and in order to speed up that action <laughs> I'm going to exit the game and just come right back in and make them appear at the required destination there. Now I'm going to demolish this building. We are first of all going to take off the balconies that we added on and because the sound stereo and the TVs are actually on they won't fly off or anything so you don't have to worry about that so just delete all the excess balconies that were you know a form of attachment for the sims right there and then go ahead and delete that building because we don't need it anymore obviously the next phase is to put bits and bobs on it um, otherwise you can fast forward a little bit and move to the structure uh, where we have dining for the sims but before I get to that stage I'm going to try and put a few things down on this particular structure here I'm going to place a door access to this um, drum booth You might notice I go into my inventory a lot just because I have a lot of things there and it's something that helps you save money. You don't have to always buy items and I know you know that already but sometimes I do make mistakes and go grabbing things that I don't necessarily need because I have thousands of them in my inventory so just a reminder. And the other thing I realized is the button that allows you to duplicate um, items doesn't bring things out from your inventory it makes you buy the extra ones so <laughs> remember that too um, these are just access ways around the stage to get onto the stage and from the downstairs part here just place down the staircase of your choice and yeah there that's how you come up onto the stage now I'm going to place some black view Scandinavian windows around the booth for the drums. I know I said you didn't need a booth, you could just glitch the drum kit onto the stage. But the good thing about having the booth is you can place um, your DJ on the top of it to DJ the party or the event um, as you saw in the beginning of my video. So I like the idea of that because he has a high point which is really cool. <laughs> anyway. These are the old breakdancing uh, DJ booths that we received from completing the uh, breakdancing hobby and I just placed them in there for decorative purposes. The real one's going to go on top of that um, drum booth. Now I'm going to place down some of the lights that we got in the game. <laughs> you know now that I'm doing this I'm trying to think back at my original structure and I'm thinking where did some of these things go? I do have the original build in my town because once I finish this recording I will then download my game back from my iPad and you know the building would be back in place so <laughs> but now from memory um, without having to stop this and go back and check on my iPad to see where things go I'm getting a bit turned around as to where certain things should be <laughs> so um yeah just uh I beg your pardon if it's not as accurate as the one you saw um, a few minutes ago. So I think I had a number of smoke machines in front of the girls. I think I did for sure. I remember that. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, how many did I have is the question. <laughs> well, I had a few. I mean, there was a lot of smoke. So, mm-hmm. Hmm. Why do I think I've placed down more than enough? <laughs> I think I have. I think I have. I have to take some of them off. I think I had the flashing lights, the floor lights 
you know the ground lights in this area but at the same time I do believe I had more than two smooth machines but anyway I'm sure you'll figure it out because all you have to do is just go back and see what was in place <laughs> but yeah this will do this will do it's fair enough for now I I'm sure I had more than two smoke machines but yes let's put these lights on and voila mm-hmm there we go you know looking at the stage now I realize that there's supposed to be a sound stereo right there and on the other side as well and even beside the booth for the drums <laughs> but I can't glitch those again right now so you can do that and that'd be perfect but what I am going to do now is place down some more lights in this area here mm. in order for this light to go on I think you have to take off the door first so I'm just gonna place it somewhere else um, and then it should stay there articulated lights there and now it works so the drum guy's got his own special spot and then I need some more things let's see yep these ones I saw them just now there that's the one I have in my inventory and I think I've run out so I have to go and buy one and I think it costs SP anyway <laughs> where are we mm. yeah there 2LP there once you turn it on so you see what I meant because everything else is is like a, a black backdrop everything you put in sort of pops off the color and that's quite lovely now I need to place some lights down in this entryway uh, and it's these particular ones here lead floor lamps the sims can actually walk over it it's going to take forever to place them all down so the duplicating button should be very useful here let's try that well well that's quicker than I thought brilliant it's very useful especially for these repetitive um, tasks such as this there each one costs 7,000 simoleons so, um, now I'm gonna turn them on I'm definitely gonna skip forward on this <laughs> there and in this mode you can't see them but certainly when you are on that floor it's quite nice to have some lights flashing now I have to place some more lights on the rooftop and at night time which is when I do play a lot in this um, concert ground um, it's beautiful because it lights up really nicely the problem is once you click on one it goes down to the floor and then you have to repeat the same thing again it goes down to the floor and then you have to come up and there are thousands to put out so I'm fast forwarding <laughs> So you go ahead and place more even on the structures on the side I didn't complete that I, I thought I'd just move along and let's place this weather machine here and turn it to nighttime so that's what it should look like and that's why I um, chose to put lights on there and you can put much more lights around as you would please so there I think I'm done with placing things on this structure I know in the original one there's a lot more that I had done so you can have a look at that but now I need to hurry up and build the structure in the front here these are the cubicles for the toilets this is where they wash their hands and this is the access to the cubicles I'm repeating the same thing over here for the female toilets And these are the booths for checking in to the concert and this is the stairway here now I don't know if it was a two by seven or a three but um, we'll stick with three better to go more than less yeah and now we have to elevate the building just by one and as I say you can go up to three or four and it wouldn't be a problem because you don't have to pay anything it's zero simoleons because you already have 
um, paid for that in the other structure. So yeah, you can you can go as high as you want. You know, make it look like a stadium or something. Now I'm creating the platforms which are necessary for the Sims to hang out on, sit down and eat. And there are also some patios that I put down here so I could create the triple gate security system. <laughs> oh dear, the things we do. You know, it is interesting that um, we can't have as many Sims as we want in our towns. Um, with the baby glitch video that I watched on YouTube and was able to create a number of Sims and then went on to make them teens, you know, pre-teens, adults, seniors. It was really useful for me and I realized that my device handles it really well. Um, but I think that Sims Freeplay don't necessarily allow that um, for everyone because there are other people playing the game that don't have uh, similar devices that can handle um, that um, file size so um, it, it's fine for me it's never affected the game in any way um, so I, I'm not really sure why it, they haven't extended the limit but um, it works for me and I'm quite happy that I have them they're very useful especially when you want to play with the game um, yeah now I'm creating a building here and I've skipped because I have a sim in the way uh, because I need to extend that balcony do you know what I think it's silly I am going to get that sim to go away <laughs> yeah she needs to go away so I can just have the one I don't know why I did that in the first place anyway and I'm going to extend it just a little there I think that will be fine and Mm, I think I need to extend it on the sides see because that's as far as it goes yeah and now I do believe I can go forward with extending this um, balcony just by two more grids there yeah that's how mine works out and you can just further extend yours if you want to you know um, and I just felt that's how I wanted it. And now I have to delete that because it's of no use to me now. And then what I need to do is just place down um, some patios in this space. So I had to move the sims. Yeah. Yeah. All the way. And then connect it. Ah, I've lost my gates. But not to worry just go back into your inventory if that happens and pop them down again you want the black iron and that's the flooring the balcony paving I beg your pardon that I had and these are the security gates and as I say in these um, booths all you have to do is glitch the items and place them in. You know, the computer and the desk, it should be fine. Now I'm putting down the escalators. And I think I need another couple in front. Yeah, that's perfect. Another couple in front here. Yeah. And there you go. That basically is all you need. And you can now choose your own wall paper and, and flooring, but just glitch those stuff and pop them in there. You know, a computer, stick it in there and you should be fine. And the Sims can gain access to it. Yeah. I am done. <laughs> this took a while to put together because I did make a lot of mistakes initially, but once I got the hang of it, I was able to build it from scratch without breaking and pausing so many times. But here you are. I hope you go on and have a lot of fun with this build and bring your Sims here. Don't forget to put down some seats and some doors to make sure you can access every other room. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.